Do you know those rolling film credits in which you see produced by and directed by and they always show them after the movie is done? In this video I'm going to teach you how, but before we start, my name is Rico Richardson. I upload weekly videos on DaVinci and Darktable, so if that's something that you're into, please consider subscribing. Now let me teach you how to do that. Right, so we're in DaVinci Resolve right now. I've already imported a clip, as I've done before, and we need to create a second video track. So let's hit the right mouse button click add track and we're going to drag test clip on clip number two and on video track number one we are going to add a solid color and i'll show you in a minute why that is so let's go to generators let's scroll down a little bit and you see solid color now standard this is set to black and right now we're going to leave it as black but i'll show you in a minute what we can do with it let's trim the clip down a little bit now we've got a five second clip to work with. So now we need the text effect. So let's go to titles and this is where the magic happens because DaVinci Resolve offers a scroll title which you don't have to create yourself. So let's just drag it over it. And then if we click it, we have the ability within the inspector tab. So if you don't see it, just click it to change whatever this says. So let's start by saying this is produced by and we're going to fill in my name, Rico Richardson, and directed by Rico Richardson. So I'm going to give some things a few names, and then I'll show you in a minute. So I've just created this data, and I want to change the font because this doesn't really look like those film credits. Now this font doesn't look good as film credits. So let's just find a font that does. And in my opinion, Niagara Solid looks pretty awesome as film credits. Now you have the ability to align them as well. So I've got them on the left side right now, but you can also center them. And this is a very popular look. If we disable the video track and we play it, you see that it's in the middle. And let's drag this out a little bit because it's way too quick. And that's how you can slow them down as well. So this already looks a lot better. Now let me activate this clip again. So let's move this back to the left side of the alignment. There you go. But here's a fun part that I wanted to show. If we grab the test clip, which is in the background right now, and I go to transform and I zoom it out to 0.4 and I drag it to the side, maybe I can make it a little bit bigger, 0.6. And we roll the film credits. You can see that we have an image over here and we have a background. And that's used a lot in, let's say, comedy. So I think American Pie has it as well, in which they show you some behind the scenes or they show you some bloopers. And it's a very fun way to show your audience what was really going on on set. By doing this, it also allows you to change the background color. So right now it's set to black. Don't change it to white because you won't see the text unless you change the text font or the text color as well. So let's just go and change this to 39 FFFF, hit OK. That looks horrible, but it's all about the idea. Now you see that you can change the background and you won't be able to do that if you don't select the solid color option. So my friends, uh, this is how you create a rolling film credit. I hope you all like it. Hopefully it will help you in your documentary or in your feature film. Tag me, uh, send me a message or an email. I'd love to see your work. And if you want to see more of me, please click that playlist over there. And if you haven't subscribed already, you can do so by clicking that button down there. And for this week, there's only one more thing left for me to say, which is make love to the like button. And until next time, doei!